Well, still got the new wheels on the trailer. That's good news. Finally got that load of cans off my back and grabbed another load, but it's a two-day drive that takes four because of the holiday weekend. And a 200-mile deadhead on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker, filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That's Rusty, the world-famous meatball dog. Hey, YouTube. Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. All right, here it is, uh, Friday, 1st of July. And, uh, yes, I was able to get those cans off my back. Never heard back from the broker, even though they swore they'd call me again Thursday morning and let me know about the new appointment time. Funny thing, a broker lying? Gosh, that never happens. So, anyway, uh, I just drove over there. They luckily took me, got me unloaded. Uh, I was in the middle of nowhere. Lots of little tiny county roads and stuff in New York. And as I was heading uh, back up towards I-88 so I could get to a truck stop, Mo gave me a call and told me about this load that picked up in New Jersey, uh, going to Cottage Grove, I think it's called, Minnesota. Minneapolis, St. Paul area, essentially. And uh, paid $3,400. It requires a tanker endorsement. And you say, tanker, but you got a dry van, don't you clutch? Yes, I do. But these are those uh, kind of totes that have, it's uh, zyconium acetate or something like that. So it sloshes around. So you have to be tanker certified to take these, even though they're in these big square totes. So, uh, downside is it was 200 miles deadhead to go pick it up, and, uh, and for those of you new to trucking, deadhead means uh, driving empty for free. So that kind of made it not as good a pain. It was almost $3 a mile gross. You add in the deadhead though, that drops it. I got to pay that toll bridge going back from New Jersey back into Pennsylvania, that drops it. Uh, the mileage that was figured was based on the shortest way. Stay in your lane, buddy. Which is all tollway, all the way over to Minnesota. So, that drops it down. I'm going to take a route that's about 35 miles longer. Uh, that I don't have to pay the tolls on. Because I'm trying, I don't want to give up as much money. But anyway, let's say the 200 mile that head was kind of a but anyway, uh, it said on the rate con when I got it yesterday, two load bars required. And I was telling Bo, you know, I've got straps. Dry vans, we don't use load bars. Uh, you can kill the walls that way. The walls are not that strong. They're not made for load bars. So you can use them in a reefer trailer. That's about it. So I was like, okay, that's kind of ridiculous. Hopefully they just don't know what they're talking about. And of course I get to the shipper and they say, well, we can't load you unless you have two load bars. I'm like, okay, you can't use load bars on a dry van trailer. And they went and got the lady from the office. I, I walked onto the trailer and pushed on the wall and said, look, see how it bounces around? I said, I can put load bars in. They're going to drop as soon as I take off from here. Well, we can't load you without the load bars. So I dropped the trailer there so they could get it loaded. And I had to drive up to a pilot, took about a half hour to get there, and buy two load bars. So there's more I'm losing on this load. 65 bucks for those two. And uh, I put the top one in and then I wrapped a strap around it to try to hold it into place. Otherwise it would have just dropped as soon as I moved. You know, but this is a, a classic situation in any business you run into this all the time. Where the people who are making the rules or making the requests are not the people who do the job. So they don't know what they're talking about, funny thing. And the, the forklift guy agreed with me. He's like, yeah, it's ridiculous. You can't use the load bars in there. So I did the best I could. That covers their ass, covers my ass. All of those pants were a big mistake. Oh! Anyway, uh, so that's what I had to do to get the load. From where I picked up to where I'm delivering, about 1,200-ish miles, uh, which is only 
a two-day drive, and yet I have four days to do it in because it doesn't deliver until Tuesday because there's some holiday on Monday. What is, what is that one? Some American holiday. Yeah, Independence Day, 4th of July, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Drink beer and shoot off fireworks. Whatever. Uh, you know, yes, it's honoring our country and all that. It's a special day. But as far as me as a truck driver, I don't care about it. So, I got plenty of time to kill this weekend on this load. I used my app way to uh, make sure I wasn't over and it looked about right. That uh, I just scaled at uh, Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania to double check it. And my app way was pretty close. I'll show you both here. Uh, there's the cat scale. Okay, and there's the app way. They're off by a couple hundred pounds each, but also part of the problem is when I roll onto the scale, then remember these totes are liquid, and so it's sloshing, so my truck and trailer are moving back and forth a little bit. And after I got off the scale, I did it again to just test my app way, and the same thing's going on. So it's going to vary a little bit. So they're pretty close, actually. So that tells me again that my app way is pretty close right now. It's actually a little bit higher. Uh, than the cat scale, which is good. That's the way I want it. So that if it's wrong, I'd rather have it be wrong in the wrong in that direction. So if I'm really close, like I was on this load, then that's when I will go pay for the cat scale, so that I know exactly where I'm at. What do you think? So here I am, an I-80 heading westbound in Pennsylvania. It's about 8:20 p.m. Eastern time. Not sure how far I'm gonna go. I don't. I don't really have to go that much farther at all if I don't want to. See, I got four days to do this. I only have to average a few hundred miles a day. So, like I said, I'm gonna have a lot of time to kill. I'm gonna meet a new buddy of mine in uh, Youngstown tomorrow. Might have more details about all that in the future. So stay tuned. Anyway, uh, topped off the fuel in Bloomsbury, New Jersey, at the TA that I hate so much there. I, 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 I stayed there once, I'll never stay again. Complete cluster bug. But the fuel there was cheaper than it was going to be all the way across Pennsylvania, all the way across Ohio. Uh, it only gets close to it again in Indiana, and it's higher in Illinois. So I may end up having to, uh, so I filled up as much as I could. I only could put, put on 55 gallons. So uh, I may have to splash a little bit on in Indiana, maybe. If I can wait until I get into Wisconsin, that's what I hope to do. Because there it's actually below five bucks a gallon, believe it or not. I know. It's amazing. Haven't seen anything below five bucks a gallon in a long time. Now, by the time I get there in a couple days, it'll probably shoot up again. That'll be my luck on that one. It actually dropped about 15 cents a gallon. What, yesterday, the day before? So I anyway, gotta play that fuel game, play the fuel game, try to make as much money as I can. So yeah, don't know how far I'm gonna go tonight. Probably not that much farther. Get parked, I'll put this video together. It'll be kind of a fairly quick update. Just want you to know what's going on. And yes, if you're wondering, and those of you storing at home, I still have my wheels now that have been fixed. They're still on my front right axle of the trailer. I keep it. Every time I stop, believe me, I'm walking around checking everything. And, uh, yep, my wheels are still there. It's a beautiful thing. I think I've always been quoting it wrong. I've always said Certified Automatic Truck Scale. You can see right there that CAT stands for Certified Automated Truck Scale. CAT Scale Company, Walcott, Iowa. You think, hmm, gee, I, I know that address or that town yeah that's where the Iowa 80 is my guess is that they are one and the same the Walcott Iowa 80 truck stop the world's largest truck stop and Catscale are all in one home I'll tell you another reason I like my app way because you see this $13 for the first way and where is it $3.50 for the reway $16.50 just to make sure I'm legal 
So you can see why I'm a big fan of the Appway that I have on my truck because that was $50 per sensor. You need two of them if you have a truck and trailer. And uh, that was 100 bucks. And if you do a CAT scale twice a week, all right, um, on average, that's $132 a month or so. You can see how the Appway pays for itself in a month. So huge fan of them. Be nice if they give me some free stuff, but you know. I buy my own crap on here, and if I review it, it's an honest review. You can bet that from Clutch Trucker. All right, I'm parked here at the TA in Milesburg, Pennsylvania. I kind of like this one because it's a very small TA. It's not very big. Uh, a lot of your newbies don't tend to come here. Um, the whole lot is flat, which is nice. So you're not leaning one way, leaning this way, front and back and all that. In Binghamton, New York, it wasn't too bad, but all of them leaned downhill just a little bit. So when I'm lying up there on my bed, which is now aimed that way with my head towards the, the CT, I was always leaning a little bit downhill. So I'll sleep a little bit better tonight knowing I'm completely flat, what do you think? So yeah, just a little update. Tomorrow I'm going to go meet uh, one of my subscribers, Mark Cerrone in uh, Youngstown, Ohio. Um, he's got a little proposal for me. We'll, we'll maybe talk about all this later on, but I need to make sure uh, this is what I'm doing and double check everything with him. Uh, you will not see him in the video. He made that very clear that he does not want to be in the next video. A little camera shy he is. But uh, anyway, so I've got like so much time to kill on this run. I'm going to go spend the day with him. We're going to go out and have a good meal and all that. That'll be nice. And then I'll only have about a little 840 miles left to do on Sat uh, Sunday and Monday. So that's a little over 400 miles a day. Big deal. It's only like seven hours a day of driving. That ain't bad at all to make it all the way up there uh, close to Minneapolis, St. Paul for my Monday a.m. delivery. I have a window on Monday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Well, you bet your buns I'm going to be there at 8 a.m. so I can get unloaded as quickly as possible and then hopefully get another load. Uh, I get paid Tuesday to Tuesday. So, unfortunately, I can't get anything else on this coming week. It's been a dreadful few weeks. Um... Six hundred dollars uh, a couple of weeks ago, like three hundred last week, and four hundred this coming week. Can you live off that? <whistles> Support a whole family. Not to mention the forty-one hundred I just paid in repairs. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding hard, baby. Come be an owner operator. I gotta share this with you because it's hilarious. Hilarious. Um, a subscriber to my channel, uh, it shows in his comments as non toxic masculinity. Goodbye, Mr. Nice Guy, is his name in the comments. He recorded a version of the Big and Strip Dog song. Let's check it out. He's a Big and Strip Dog. He's a Big and Strip Dog. Sometimes he eats too fast and he starts to cough. He's a bag and strip dog. Hi, Clutch. Hi, Rusty. Love it. Who knew that song I made up would catch on so much, but <laughs> thank you, guy, for that. that. That's a lot of fun. Now I'm going to have to come up with a verse or two, right? Because that, that's pretty much the chorus, the bag and strip dog part. i got to come up with a verse or two, so... Watch for that coming in future Clutch Trucker videos. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. A little update for you and um, all that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please like and comment. I get your comments usually within a day or two. Uh, sometimes it takes longer because I'm a working truck driver. He's a little sleepy here, so he's falling off the pace. Uh, there's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. I try to, I'll try to update more on that. I haven't done too much lately. I've been lax on that. I'm sorry. Ring the bell for notifications so you know when the new videos come out. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. Believe what you want, lady, but don't believe it here. He's watching it. There it is. Where's it going to go? Oh, come on down. That's cheating. You know what's going up there. Come on. All right, now, there you go. Oh, it's in your pet bed. You gotta love it. The pet bed sitting on the lovely Clutch Trucker couch seating area here that I've created in my clutch trucker and model. Got that thing up for my toilet behind my seat here, which is a beautiful thing. He's loving that. Already done with that first one? Alright. Because I love you, Rusty, here's one more. Oh, yes. 
while he's eating that. There's my stairs, my drawers, my extra storage leading up to my upper bunk area with my full-size bed upstairs. It's a beautiful thing. Clutch trucker lights and back to the wonderful Rusty. The happy begging strip dog.